morning welcome to the greedy shift i mean sunday <laughs> definitely a greedy shift running down to norwich pick up um a steel sculpture it's in various pieces and then uh bring it back up park up overnight and deliver it to leeds playhouse or somewhere near leeds playhouse in the morning for installation by our team of expert installers i.e. Jamie the escort driver who likes drilling stuff from what I'm told there's 178 drill a holes to drill into the floor to fit it so we best get cracking but first I think I think the full fleet's here so let's have a look at them You know what? I can't tell if it's all here or not. <laughs> we've got that much at the moment. So we've got two wagon and drags, one, two, three rigids, one, two, three, three for there. There's one at high one at high out tractor units missing. I think it's in for MOT. But all three scan your tractor units are here and the Volvo. Yeah, so we're only missing one wagon again. Anyway. Let's get down to Norwich. I'll talk to you later. Catch you in a bit. Evening. It's nine a bit after nine o'clock, Sunday. Just parked up in Sleaford. Here for the night. Uh, I need to be in Leeds for eight ish in the morning. But I can't go any further. I've got I need I need food. I've, I've only had breakfast today. Took four hours to load. Here's the here is the loaders. I'll show you around it in a little bit. Ooh, I need to tighten some straps up. No real surprise. It's one of them loads. It's settles. That one's come very loose. And unwrapped. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Let's just check all these straps. That one's good. Good, good. 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 Let's put you down a minute. That was good. <sighs> well, bin men work late around here. That's come out of somewhere. So there's that. That obviously hasn't worked that one, so let's rethink that one. It 
So higgledy piggledy load. It took four hours to get it on the trailer. Pain in the backside to strap. It's going to take even longer to unload in the morning. So, yeah, I'm meeting uh, a couple of lads in Leeds. Uh, they're bringing this crane down. Uh, and then we're going to offload it. And then I'm going to leave and they're going to build it up. I don't envy him, one little bit. They are more than welcome to drop, try and build up this. I am shocked that this piece has not done anything. With it being stood up like that, I was expecting it to be bubbling all over the place, but it's not. So that's a good result. I'm gonna get my fixing stick and bray that back in. Just to make sure it's don't, don't fall out in, in the morning. Now where's my fixing stick? If you don't know what a fixing stick is, it's a big stick. It didn't go back in that locker yet. Give me the other one. Yeah, it's a big stick with a big bit of metal on the end of it. And it fixes stuff. Just like this. To check them too as well. Uh, let's see if I can get under it from this side. Uh, yeah, they've come com completely out. So that needs tightening up. And probably that one as well. Yeah. I think it's easier. Welcome back. Join me about nine hours later at ten past six in the morning. Uh, now I've got a mad dash to get to Leeds. I'm meant to be there for about eight. It's probably going to be near half past now. With traffic, current ETA is quarter past. But I imagine that's probably going to change slightly. Nice and quiet night. Uh, couldn't get to sleep very easily, but. After the area. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A17, towards Newark. So, let's get this artwork delivered. And let pass the book on to my Across colleagues that have to install it. Exit. 
should be interesting for them. After that, I'm going to take pick the exit up A17. Some attenuators and other bits and pieces moving about two miles from one from one factory to another, and then go and load some pipe work uh, for tomorrow morning heading to Stoke. Uh, I think I'm going home tonight, uh, but I think that will massively depend on. Eight in the morning, I think it is. Tip and reload, and then back to Shaw Cross. And I'm gonna cut you loose and get to Leeds. Catch you in a bit. Well, that is me. Dropped the trailer at the Leeds Playhouse, uh, met the artist. Uh, met Wayne, they're just waiting on the engineer and a couple of our lads to help install it and then they can start unloading and drilling and building this sculpture up I know where this one is, it's local so once it's up I should be able to um, nip back and get some video of it well, get a picture of it so you can see what it's like should be by end of week it's ready so I might see if we can nip in for a quick quick photo before end of week might have to do it in car light but I'll see what I can do now running back to the yard uh, get a trailer and go load two attenuators and move them about a mile and a half easy peasy so I'll catch you in a bit Morning. Oh, five o'clock. So to check the wagon over and then get down to Stoke. Picked this up last night, um, got back to the yard, and these black ones were rolling around like chuff. So when I got back here, put on a barrel hitch, which holds the pipes together. That could have been better. Never mind, it'll be right. Noisy blooming goals. Those two on the wrong side because the steel on the other side just can't get the ratchets in the right place. So, it is what it is. Dog flip. Definitely on. Still need to tidy that up. Still a mess. Right. I'm happy. She's all good. Let's rock and roll to Stoke on Trent. Catch you in a bit.
Afternoon. Today we're just moving some stuff from one site to another. <sighs> Show the trailer. Big stuff. And we're going all of 100 yards up there. Turn left, turn left again, and then 300 yards to the yard. That's just over behind my shoulder. So I'll come back to you in a bit.
Good morning, welcome back. Uh, I say welcome back, but for you it's like a second After since last call or something. Feet, go for straight me on. it's 6123 Middleton Road, then take the second left. Oh no, I did talk go to you yesterday, on, over, didn't I? Then take the second left. So, yesterday, those boxes. Wow, what a day, a long day. Hopefully the footage of the drive around the big one has come out. I'm going to throw a picture on in a minute because the battery ran out uh, and I didn't manage Turn to get left, where street. my where well, I actually ended up being parked. So I'll throw a couple of pictures on now so you can see the wagon fully jackknifed between another cabin and the building. There you go. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B6127 Bridge Street. If I, if I forgot, I apologise. Um, yeah. I have an update on the sculpture in Leeds. Go it's left no longer on the roundabout in Leeds. and take the first exit. It's on a trailer in our warehouse. So they got it all built up by midday Tuesday. Went to start bolting it down. Drill the first hole into a 200 mil concrete plinth. Yeah, more like 70 mil at the thickest point, 40 to 50 mil at the thinnest, with a massive void underneath it. So the council had to come out, the structural engineer had to come out and at about half After past three feet, on the Tuesday night and take the first exit, A650 Tingley Common. Decision was made to take it all back down. They have to rip up the plinth, start all over again and then cross the roundabout and rebuild the at a later date. Someone messed up. Someone getting a big old bill. That'd be either the builders that um, didn't do the plinth right. Or the architect that didn't tell them the, what the plinth diameters and yeah. The, the list will go on and back and they'll argue for ages and so that's now in storage in our warehouse. Today I am going to Skipton to pick up a lot of equipment. I love it when he puts that word on the phone because that means that he hasn't got a clue what I'm picking up. Uh, I'm bringing it back to the yard. Uh, and then I'm putting the step frame on and I've got five plastic tanks to move from Ravensthorpe to Bradford with a step frame don't know how big they are, how wide they are, how tall they are or nothing don't know if it's doing it one trip or multiple all I know is I can't get there until after 11am So, hence this job first. Should be on site for about eight o'clock. Hopefully a quick turn and burn. And yeah, get there for, if we get back here for half 10, drop and swap and then Back, back down to Evans thought be all right. If it's later, if it's later. If it's earlier, I'll just sit and wait, why not? And then just got one job tomorrow. After and there's three miles, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit N62 towards uh, Manchester. Then so take the motorway. I'm calling myself and Lee. 
we'll be doing that from what I've been told. on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the motorway. And then that's it for me for the week. Nice six day week. Full weekend off and then it is the Great Northwestern Truck Show with Switas next weekend. So it's a four day week for me. I've got Friday off. So I'm going to be spending that. I'm going to do supermarket shop Friday morning for everyone from my house and stuff and get plenty of food for me for the weekend to cook. Uh, then into the yard for about lunchtime to start cleaning the wagon. Two or three hours on that and then hopefully we'll be setting off about three o'clock. So we can get over there about half past four or five o'clock. Hopefully the other lads will be similar sort of readiness. We need to let the gaffer know who's definitely going so we can try and plan accordingly to get them back. Not everyone's going now, things have come up and changed, so only about half of us going again. It is two, three, four, four definite, five definites, one maybe, depending on what time he gets back, he needs to pick his lad up and bring him. If he do not get done in time, then he needs to he's going to come over. But anyway, I'll quickly loose for now and I will pick you up probably with the tanks later on. Catch you in a bit. Morning, welcome to day six. Fairly easy, but probably going to be a really annoying day today. Two trips from uh, Ravensthorpe to Bradford with tank, uh, plastic tanks. I was there yesterday to load five, only got uh, four on, and it took them three hours to do that, and they didn't even get everything on me. So. How they're going to load me eight today, I do not know. Uh, the receivers shut early because it's Friday, but yet they work Saturday, which makes no sense whatsoever. Don't get that, really don't. Why half your day on a Friday to work Saturday? see what I can get but if I don't come back to you thanks for watching please like follow subscribe share comment all the usuals um, and you may have noticed the channel has been rebranded well, that's all there's fucking taxis going up now in it with fucking labour in and everything as the flatbed trucker so now I am Paulie D, the flatbed trucker, and these are the flatbed diaries. So it's a little rebrand, it's not full rebrand. I'm still gonna keep the flatbed diaries because that's what they are. They are diaries of what I do during the week. Uh, but yeah, the, the channel name's the flatbed trucker. Same on my TikTok and my Instagram. So, you can, you can find me on any of those. So, I guess I don't come back to your uh, speech again later. Have a good weekend. Well, I hope you had a good weekend. And I'll see you next week. So, from here, from Evanstock, we have to go through Jewsbury, up to Osset, uh, Junction 40 of the M1, up to the M62. 
uh, Posture of the M6 R6. Uh, off the M6 R6 to the lead to the Rod for Wing World. And then just the usual bit into, into where we're going. Normally I go out the other way of this estate, but the right turn to get out is quite tight. So I'm going to go this way where the junction is wider. Still on the same road, still turning onto the same road, just at a different point. At the end of the road, so turn technically right, I'm not A6 going against my movement now. Not under escort, we're only at 3.2, 3.3 metres wide. So it's just me on my own. Sometimes it's better that way. watching this in the future it's the day after the general election and I personally don't care couldn't give a flying hoot um, but I'm pretty sure from what I've heard Labour's won Conservative vote unless something dramatic happened in the contest it but yeah. I, don't know, I, think, I think I've heard the term landslide but no one wants to say that. Okay. I don't care. I don't think anything's going to ever change regardless of who's in charge. It's all the same people in the end of the, end of the day. Not the same type of people. And it's what they can get out of it themselves. We were discussing earlier on the CV. What category do we fall into now? Are we working class? Are we middle class? Are we middle class poor? Uh, are we working class rich? After et cetera, 600 et feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A644. Our job road. Uh, for our company yields anywhere between 45 and 65,000 a year depending uh, what class vehicle and Cross what skills you have. So I think that takes us out of working class. Granted, we don't do a 40 hour week. Don't by anything reason think we do a 40 hour week, we don't. If we're working less than 55 hours, we're complaining it's a short week. Fifty-five, yeah, short week. Sixty-five, good week. If you're working on Saturday, maybe up to seventy hours. Oh, sorry, if you're working one at weekend days, maybe up to seventy hours in the week working. Obviously, this is not working. This is duty time, so shift on shift. Breaks and POA don't count. We don't get much POA, but we do get us breaks in because we work legal don't you open that door yet you moron oh well and good having folding mirrors but when you fold them in too soon and you can't see what's coming before you open your door oh fool you for that one splinter in it. Well, no, I got a massive splinter. I pulled most of it out and then I think I've snapped a bit off inside and it's stuck there and it's throbbing. Now I know there's not much 
the weight in these tanks, maybe a ton, ton and a half each. Well, in the, in the tank, and then there's a base of about half a ton. But she's working hard getting up this hill. And I'm going to cut you loose, and I'll come back to you when I'm near with the job. Catch you in a bit.